your would-be uh, cheer career. Is that where this is coming from? <laughs> Would be. They're excellent. I know, you're at the top of the pyramid. Howdy, folks. My name is Terry, and there's a camera in this frame because we're doing a two-camera setup, which means <gasps> unboxings! We are unboxing some... Iden F. Deepkin Stark Games Workshop sent us to show you guys and to also fangirl out at. Um, we were in the studio preview when they unveiled these at Adepticon and Sploosh? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh absolutely. Like listen. Thematically it, correct. It was hands down the best part of that studio preview. And that was the one where we in like we were the first people to know the announcement that Plastic Sisters are coming eventually, maybe 2019. 2019. But they had these and they showed these and they were so Amazing. ridiculous. So ridiculous. So we've got the um, Battle Tome mm -hmm. to show everyone. Uh, and we'll flip through, and then we've got the boxes to unbox. So, um, we don't play Age of Sigmar yet. Well, we this do the, now. <laughs> no, so I'm I'm uh, waiting for the start collecting box for the Daughters of Cain because I'm I'm ready to go on those. Yeah. Oh well, my God, that ready. that Marathi model Holy almost had me smokes. in, and then you were like, No, 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 it has me. <laughs> I just need the the start collecting box, and then yeah. I'm like. Checks okay. out, checks out. And then, uh, and then they showed these off, and Nathan was like, okay, well... I'm in. This is what's <laughs> happening. We, we better get painting. Uh, so, yeah, we're we're playing Age of Sigmar now. So we can't really comment on the rules, but we can show off all the beautiful art in the book, uh, which probably hints at all the amazing upcoming releases for the, uh, for the Deepkin as well. So, uh... Shall we flip it open? Yeah. Let's flip it open. I mean, Games Workshop has always had... Uh, well, I, I won't say always because... There, there was a dark period. Yeah, there, there was a dark period when they were like, why should we pay for art um, in codexes? And so none of them had any. But uh, since then, since they have oh seen the gosh, light... Oh right? Uh, Games Workshop art is... Amazing. Amazing. It's amazing. Okay, so... You know, I'm... I'm just blown away at the insaneness that they can do with their plastic, right? I think this um, this is the release where they're like, yeah, let, let's do it. Let's have floating fish. Let's right. let's do water. Let's do water. You know, let's have, like, all these other... See, like that. Beautiful yeah, art. Beautiful art. So, I mean, like, listen, a, a, a testament to them is I have seen Johnny Wave Cape, as I'm going to call him, uh -huh. um... Countless times. Uh -huh. We've got the box here. Every time I look at it, it it just, like, blows me away. And I'm just awed by the coolness that that model is. Right? Okay. Um, And it doesn't get old, and I love it. Um, so, uh, they've caught the lore, of course, and art and history. Nathan, you've read some of the lore. Tell me, well, tell me what was the thing that was like, well... I thought I was in before, because we saw the minis at that time. And then, what is it, like two days ago, you're like, okay, so I'm really, really for sure 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. in now. Um, so, for for this to matter, uh, it must be known that I had a Dark Eldar army that I played for like seven years. Um, so, the Ideneth Deepkin kind of background is uh, after Teclis and Marathi and whatever the other one, who is way less cool than both of those, um, <laughs> freed all of the souls from the belly of Slanesh. Teclis took his souls and was like, I'm going to remake elves because I miss elves. And he you, he created what became the Ideneth Deepkin, but they were dark in a way that, you know, being consumed by a chaos god would kind of taint your souls. Um, he tried to destroy them. They fled into the sea, started worshipping the old uh, elven sea god. Okay. Around this time is when they discovered that not all of the souls that they got back were pure whole souls. And so they created this weird caste system as seems to be a fantasy it's shtick. It's a thing. Um, but what differentiates you is not birth, but the purity of your soul and the ability to just exist. So the lowest cast are have these sickly dying souls, and they have to go ra raid and pillage and 
basically steal the souls of other living beings to keep topping up their gas tank of soul. Um, and that which, reminded you of... Which is the way old Dark Eldar used to exist, because in the 40k universe, um, I can't speak to current Drukhari or any of that, I haven't read, I haven't kept up with the fluff, but back when I played Dark Eldar, the fluff was, the reason they don't use soul stones the way the Eldar do is because they you know, capture and torture and consume souls, which tops up their soul gas tank because Slanesh is constantly sipping on that soul. And if they ever stopped doing these heinously awful things, Slanesh would consume them entirely. And they've got aspects of that, and I was just like, oh. man. So, um, I pulled out one of the full-color centerfolds, and good frickin' grief. Uh, turtle. The turtles are amazing. Like, Okay. Just ridiculous. The turtles are amazing, but the dual guys riding the sharks are yeah, my favorite. Yeah, there's one over here, too. Uh, it's amazing. You know, because, well, you see, I think that guy's got, like, a gun platform on the back of the shark. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, they, they all totally do. Totally do. So, uh... And it... the eel guys are, like, freaking. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's... The octopus guy... Oh, what is he riding? It's like oh, a it's like a, eel? it's like a eel unicorn. We actually have him. It's him. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> hiking of the deep. So, um, but yeah, so okay, so I mean, like you know, mini porn, you can go all over. One of the things that I wanted to show because we have not had this is our first Age of Sigmar battle tome. Yeah. Again, we don't play. Is their painting section is off Amazing. the chain. Um, and Amazing. keep in mind, they do have the Citadel Paint app, which is fantastic. But this, to me, I feel, takes it an extra level up, and I love mm-hmm. it. So first of all, they're saying, hey, paint it. Warhammer TV's got tips, which is great. Great shout-outs. It's a fantastic channel Absolutely. for painting tips. Um, but then you see here where they're saying, hey, these are the different houses that there are rules for. And you you have to pick one of the houses that your deep can come from. Mm-hmm. And this is the quick way that we go from prime to white. And the steps we go through, where they're showing you where the color blocking is, what to do, and how to add. I mean, it's not in depth here, but even as you, once you get past all of the different houses, okay. of which, like I said, we got six, then you look at something where they're like, hey, look, this skin is hard because it's super pale. They literally, from the bottom of the ocean, they don't get sunlight. Here, starting at primed white, apply this shade, apply a layer, and they walk you through each and every step. Love and they it. even start to show, hey, red tassels, what about sea creatures? Because I bet if you're a Games Workshop painter, you've literally never, never painted, painted sea fish. creatures and fish before. Are you saying that there's not a lot of coral that have existed in the old world? Or in 40k. Yeah, like literally, <laughs> literally zero. None, I can't, zero. Even, I can't um, even think. And then they're like, hey, this is how we did our Leviathan skin and the shell. Yeah. And look, this is how you can paint the crests really nicely. And what I appreciate about mm-hmm. this is if you look at the studio scheme, they've glazed almost everything, everything to give it that under the sea look. So instead of your normal dirty metals if they're humans or clean metals if they're like an over you know, like a land elf, <laughs> if you will. Um, everything has these blue and, and teal glazes all yeah. over it. And so going through those steps to both pick out the sea life, which is net new in yeah. terms of colors and techniques, as mm-hmm. well as those glazes, I adore Amazing. that. Amazing. It, it's a fantastic detail. Um, so, yes, there. Did a quick flip through the first part. We're not rules. Yeah, you I can mean, buy the book and read the book and do I, all the book and stuff. I tried to read the rules, but we don't play Age of Sigmar, it's all so textual, right? yeah, it didn't really make sense to me. Um, save him for last because he's the best. Are you sure? Oh, he's the okay. Best. Fine, we'll start with the thralls first. So we're gonna we're gonna unbox the thralls. Um, you took off the cellophane, but we haven't actually cracked these open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so that way you wouldn't have to see us awkwardly handling <laughs> manhandle cellophane. Uh, um, so, sorry, I'm used to the, the days of Games Workshop not giving anything, so I'm no just curious. No instructions? Uh, we've got <laughs> build instructions, which is all pretty Yay. straightforward. Um. The plastic is standard workshop plastic in terms of, like, expectations. Um. And then you actually have your rules cards. Look at all the fish, though! Guys! Look at the fish! Oh my gosh, there's fish everywhere. How many fish are on your sprue? I've got like undead fish on mine. 
I have a, oh, it looks like a undead squid, fish. some seaweed, I and these that armor is plates, it. Like, the fish have armor, like... See, are you thinking scales? that the shin pads are fish? No, those are actually fish. They yeah, have, yeah. like, okay. strappy beaks. There's sure, one sure. here. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, you know, this is the insane part, right? Like, it's just, the plastic's so good, and there's so many. I've got five on each sprue. Is that how it's... The bodies you've got? Yeah, and then because it's Games Workshop, you have mm. about three dozen three, heads to three choose dozen from. Three dozen heads to choose from. Um, actually, no, I, I, I'm i lying. It's just there's only You're these, lying. what, two, two four, four, six, six eight, 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 eleven? Seven. Oh, for ten guys. That's new. Heads used to be the only thing that they'd give you, like, 50 of. <laughs> You're like it's a ten minute box set. Why do I need? Showing. Why do I need thirty Look, different they have tactical a squad helmets? Shell right there. Oh, absolutely. So it's a clown shell. Um, I am. It, I'm loving this. Oh yeah, so, listen. Beautiful it's, sculpts, right? It's exactly you know. As per the I box. don't want to, to use this to minimize it, but this is typical workshop. It what is isn't typical exceptional. Workshop? There are a lot of extra details that you can add on. There's where there's a female moments. body on my sprue. Mine too. Ah, oh, you're not special. Right. Oh, I got two. There's, oh wow. There's a girl there's, on mine. There's a girl on mine. <laughs> there's there's um, there's females on these yeah, rooms, right? I mean, like listen, it's amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have some fun now. Look at the High King of the Deep. Oh, this man. is a named special character, so let's see uh Yeah, let's let's, let's open see our if he up. kicks it up a notch. Let's do this. Alright. Ooh. I like how it's very clear the way they package these. Like, these are three sprues. Because mm -hmm. this is even attached. Like, this was attached here. Yeah. Like, just bend it and go. Okay, so, not only is this <laughs> the special character of Alternos, High King of the Deep, yeah. you can also make a generic Ideneth, Lord of the Phalanx, out of this kit. So, you do not have yeah. to build the special character. And as a result, when you're flipping through the option... For all variants, and oh. then Volturnos is add that kind of stuff. Oh. He gets a fancy head, and oh, there it. are his rules. And then if you're building a regular Akalian king, I forget. Like I've forgotten. You always forget how amazing their plastic Look can at be. That sword. Look at all the air. And how you have air and space, and just ah, oh. you know, and even this crest, like that that neck plate. Um, Look at this. This is the piece right here, which is just, it's so much, there's so much beauty on that. Um, and it'll paint so fast. Like, that's the other thing with this particular, like, if you're going with studio schemes, you're primarily p priming white and doing glazes. Yeah. Like, that, that paint, ask any person who used to play Lizardman how fast that used to paint. <laughs> it paints Fast. Yeah, I mean, this is this is absolutely, because um, dibs, by the way, but this is absolutely it's one of those projects that I'm going to be priming white and uh -huh. working on my glaze game, because I feel like it's lacking in a lot of ways. Um, just absolutely just stunning, stunning kind of stuff. Spectacular. And I like it because that is a character, specifically, you know, could be a special character, might not be. So you can see the extra details uh -huh. compared to the Namarti, which are your battle line. Just yeah, Ooh. have lots of them kind of approach. So pretty. Oh, all right. Let's open. I want to pull oh. out the sprue with the cape. I just want to show you guys how insane this box is because uh, I ripped it. You ripped it. It's oh no, opening. packaging. Oh, does it have a, like a dust cover? I think it might. Just give me that. I... Failing dexterity checks. I can strength check all the rest of it. Oh, totally. It it it's double boxed. I got two boxes. You guys. Does what? One... <laughs> I was gonna say, does one have the French? What? That is that impressive. is frameable that's what we're doing you ruined some art we were supposed to put in our house nathan and then yeah you do have the two variants because clearly they want me to buy two clearly they want me to buy two clearly they want everyone to buy oh my two. god and beautiful. it'll work look at this model it works oh man this is the this is the army you pull out the fog machine for for atmosphere oh my god like totally I mean, right we're buying one I after mean... halloween now 
a display board with a built-in fog machine. <laughs> oh Just God. like coral and shipwrecks and like fog. Fog. <laughs> yes. People be like, is it well painted? I can't tell. That's the point. That's the point. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Let's do this. I'm, I'm pulling out the sprues and I'm, I'm freaking, God damn it, Games Workshop. So this eel here totally reminds me of like the Ursula eel from from Little Mermaid. Like this, you know, one. it's funny you mention that because when I was looking at all the <laughs> stuff on the bottom, my brain started singing "Under the Sea," and I was trying to think of a way to work it into my display board fog machine. Like you push oh, the button and I it just... starts playing "Under the Sea" and dispensing fog. <laughs> dispensing fog. The seaweed is always greener. <laughs> the fish are molded to the. Yeah, I, I I expected they would be just because of how gravity it defined on, but they look, are. Like, and it's molded on both sides, like See, freaking amazing. Okay, I would like to take a moment to talk about this base, and the reason I say that is we've all kind of seen what it looks like in the photo art. But check this out. This is clearly the point of contact mm -hmm. between your water cape in it, and you've got jugs and treasure on the bottom of the Aww. ocean floor. You have parts of a sunken ship. You have this little manta ray buddy who's going to plug into your base there because you can oh, see man. he's got the notches on the tail he's, and you've got the holes he's got right that there. too, right? Like, um, his little and so it's just like pearl. this is spectacular. a spectacular looking base. And even when you look in past all like the German and Spanish versions of rules, you look, you have all of these extra bits so you can fill this base out. Oh. And even though we're talking a very large base here, you end up having very, very little actual room that you're yeah. going to have to kind of sand around yeah. and, and do those kinds of things because there's so much detail that is on here. And I, I adore it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Like, I'm waiting for the, like, Moana, like, collector crab model for these guys now like there's so many things I just was like, <laughs> the treasure crab so this one you can kind of see the typical games workshop we're gonna spread out from the sprue sprues okay. have three dimensions you no, guys. no 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 check no, it. no, check it. no not even that look oh, at this water. water and look at its join points so we have this is all together and that's fine that's the body but then they have such confidence in their sculpting that this starts to spread out. So if you actually look at these two pieces here, they're not connected to the main body because they're spray, and they connect through this circuitous route over oh, here. It's insane. And that is unparalleled. Nobody else could could do this, let alone <laughs> does do this. Well, um, I mean, it's, it's insane, too, because when you look brilliant. at the model, what are the join points to the frickin' base? Okay, can we just look? There's like... We've got one, two, three, four, five little s snickets. Five little oh, plugs. Man. It's freaking insane. But what I love about that, though, is this means that you could quite easily paint this model in three pieces. Yeah. Because if you look here, the body plugs in there nicely. Uh -huh. Um. So you could paint the water, you could paint the base, you could then attach them. Uh -huh. You could paint all of the pieces. I mean, the, the character doesn't really go together nicely because you've He's got the front the there, and that locks him in place. But there's no reason why you couldn't, especially on small pieces like that, paint those additionally and then just put it all together. together. Because this wave cape is crying out for an airbrush. It's freaking beautiful. Every... Ugh, uh, stunning. Just... <sighs> Sploosh! Literally. Sploosh is the term. Sploosh. Um, I, every time I handle workshop plastic, every goddamn time. You miss it. I, <laughs> it's not just that I miss it. I am astounded by their ability to tool models. And the worst part is, like, it's like Ikea instructions where they don't give you words because you don't need them anymore. Like, you'll be fine. Like, like, you can do this. This is not that crazy. Like, a kid who gets this on, like, their birthday could follow these instructions and build this kit. And it's not, it's not the kind of, like, horrible experience that, I don't know, Space Marines in 2001 were. Where, oh. <laughs> where it's just horrible, right? It's a terrible, like, 
experience. Yeah, this all is right, an amazing for, for, thing. For, for the youngins. For the youngins who don't know what beakies are. Um, Space Marines, for like 20 years, it's only a new thing that they're not like this. Or at least I hope they're not like this anymore. Um, no, they're not. But Space Marines used to have three pieces for arm, <laughs> arm, and then gun. And none of them connected. So you'd actually have to take the gun and clip the the handle off because they were full. But they were full bolters. You the actually hand had to clip had the a handle, handle inside of it. Had, yeah, it had a handle, so you they couldn't even just slide it. it in. You'd then have to match it, but you'd have to match it at the right angle. Otherwise, you have like a gun that you're holding like this, which makes no sense. But then you'd have to almost like you needed three hands because then the, the cupping su- hand, cupping hand. If you just glued that in right, you could have it off wrong, and then he's the like shoulder this. was off. Like, the, sh- the oh. joints on the shoulders were a nightmare. Chests were easy, le- legs were one piece, chest was two, head goes in, shoulder pads were beautiful, backpacks were easy. If you gave but this... But the arms were a headache. If you gave this to, like, 20-year-old Nathan, said, build this, it would be a whole different experience. And I think that's the crazy yeah, thing. Yeah, even without this, I could. And you know what? I, I do want to take a moment because when games workshop first started to get into tooling like this um well, the first one of those models that i built was like the uh, skull cannon of corn yeah um it is a small ish model that was like 140 pieces it's it crazy. it was heavy you would lift the it's model crazy. and it was all plastic it was heavy because it would all just layer 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 um this is none of that it's like they've, they've even stepped dynamic. up their game because yeah it's airy it's dynamic Total number, like, numbered pieces that I found is a 44. I think that's right. So it's just like, and even then I got multiples because they're all the same coral bit. Coral bits. Um, 44 pieces for a model that dynamic with that many extra eels and manta rays and schools of fish and corals and, 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 and. So, It's fantastic. For those of you who... We're looking at this who weren't necessarily signed up to hear us gush as much and maybe bitch a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Um, that is the Ineth Deepkin unboxed for you. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe, do the youtube things, and uh, until next time, I will see you soon. Cheers.